Hello everybody, it's Mr Woods again and this time I'm going to teach you another thing or two about fireworks. Today we're just going to cover the pen tool. So if you follow my pointer on the screen you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I've got a canvas here, just an empty canvas and I'm going to select the pen tool. Straight away down at the bottom of the screen you can see that I get all my properties for my pen tool. Currently the fill colour is set to black and the stroke colour is set to off. That's what the red line means there. Now, in the previous video I did mention briefly how the pen tool works but I'm going to show you a bit more detail now. So, if I just uh, click the mouse once you can see it puts a square down, that's called an anchor point, sometimes called a node but I'm going to call them anchor points and I've got a piece of elastic attached to it. I'm not actually drawing anything at the moment, I've just nailed it in place. And if I click somewhere else, just a click like that, I've now drawn a line. All you can see is the path, the blue path that my pen has taken, but there is going to be a line there. And now if I click across here and then finish it off. At this point I can take my pointer and I can change the colour and I can add a stroke if I wish and I can make that stroke bigger and so on. Okay, So that's pretty simple, you saw that in the last video. Let me start again. I'm going to show you what the pen tool is really used for. So I'm just going to get rid of the fill stroke at this point and I'm going to have a black stroke and I'm going to make that probably about three just so we can see it. Normally I just use one. Um, this time I'm going to put in an anchor point and just as before but this time when I make the second one I'm going to hold that mouse button down. Click and hold. Now watch. I'm going to move my mouse and you can see some things happening there. All right, Now the curved part is the path that I'm drawing. The two lines that come out from side to side are called handles and they are used to stretch and twist the line. And you can see you can make curves. These are called Bézier curves named after some French mathematician geezer. I don't know what, anything about that though. Um, so anyway once I release, you can see it draws in the line, and you can see the black stroke there, and you're ready to do your next point. Now, look, already it's curving. Okay, so as I'm ready to put in my next anchor point, the line is already curving. And the way I try and get my head around this is that the line has to go to where my pen is, but also wants to follow the handle that I made previously. Okay, so that's kind of what's happening. So it's trying to do two things at once and that causes that curve. So if I were to click and hold again, I can now curve it the other way, make like an S shape, or I can curve it back that way to continue the curve on, or I can do all sorts of things. Okay, so I'm going to go to there and release. And again, once I release, you see now the curve wants to follow that handle, uh, but also it wants to go where the pen is. So I'm going to go, that's quite a nice curve there, I'm going to curve it round, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to join it up and join it up with a curve. Okay, so I've completed my shape. All right, and now I've completed my shape, I can do those things like I can add a colour, like that. Oh, that doesn't look a <laughs> very nice colour. There we are. Uh, maybe I could get rid of the stroke if I didn't want the stroke. Either way, the path still stays there. Now, here's the real beauty. Once you've made your shape, if you're not happy with it, you can change it. Okay? At the top here, next to the black arrow, the pointer tool, is the sub selection tool. On other programs, it's called a direct selection, but this one it's called the sub selection. And it enables me to select individual points. And I can then move those anchor points. Okay? So I can move that one there move that up there and do whatever I want. So at any point now I can say, do you know what, I'm not happy with where that point is and I can move it. But not only that, you can also change the handles. I can bring that one in, I can bring it out, I can select this one, I can click on that anchor point and select this one. So you're never stuck, you can never go wrong because if you do go wrong you can just fix it. Okay, last thing, I'm going to get rid of that. Select my pen tool. Uh, I'm going to turn off my stroke, sorry, turn off my fill, turn on my stroke, uh, make it size 3 so we can see it. Last thing, click, click and drag, I've made a curve, 
But what if I don't want to curve? What if I want to come straight off there with a, with a hard 90 degree turn? Well, if I click on the anchor point, can you see that little V-shaped symbol there? If I click that, one of the handles disappears, and now I'm coming straight off in a straight line. Okay? So you can go from a curve to a straight line by re-clicking on the anchor point you just put in. So I'll show you that one more time. So I click, I click and drag, I could click and drag again, but if I want to come straight off here, not curve, I just click back on the anchor point, and now I'm back on straight lines. But then I can go back to curves as well. Okay, so the pen tool, really useful, really powerful, really good at making beautiful shapes. It's a bit like riding a bike. You'll find it difficult at first, but once you crack it, it's easy. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. I hope my face doesn't put you off too much, but it's a new thing I've tried. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.